Gerald's note to staff. I think I've made a mistake. The master has brewed up the most recent batch of Alexa for our upcoming ritual. In my excitement to bring on this wondrous change he talks about, I may have snuck a few sips from one of the ceremonial cups in the kitchen. I know the master is all-knowing and wise, but I think he may have used the wrong recipe this time, for I begin to feel very strange as soon as after swallowing the bitter tasting mixture. My arms and legs are moving on their own violation, making the writing of this note quite difficult. And the thoughts, strange musings that do not come from my head, intrusive thoughts of violence and menace come out of thin air, nearly driving me mad. I do not know what's happening. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the bathroom. I think a long, hot shower will help me feel better. Gerald. Well, we met Gerald after using the lighter for the first time. He was, well, not himself, I assume. Anywho, let's keep having a little bit of a wonder. We can hear some dogs. I don't know if that's just ambience. I don't know if we can actually see any dogs. Because you can actually fire through these uh, and hit them. Which is kind of interesting. And if you can take the opportunity to snipe and take out dogs from far away. From an unfair advantage. You better bloody take it. Maybe. Oh, hello. <laughs> Maybe you were actually around the corner. Evening, shitbag. Come to mummy. Let's start doing this. So the master whips up a concoction that has turned all of these people into mindless zombies. Oh my. Well, that won't do, will it? More bandages. Let's just so... Ugh. Let's just pick them up so they're active on the map. I don't know if you actually have to pick them up. Um, I, I, uh, I think you do. I don't think literally just looking at them um, where they are initially laid uh, does much, to be honest. Anyway, let's keep exploring. Oh, we have a large room here. Full of zombies. Of course we have zombies. And there is a lot of zombies in this room. But we're going to take them out with a knife. If we were using the handgun for all of these guys, we'd be having a very... Oh, you shitbag. We'd be having a very bad time. Or if we were using the gun for all of these guys, I should say. Come on, you ugly sack of rotten shit. Let's be having ya. Now, if we're below these guys, they will do a vomit attack. Which is really easy to avoid. Well, he had a hell of a time, didn't he? Come on, next. While we're young, honestly. Come on. Look, there's a hot piece of meat standing in front of you. The least you could do is humor me. I know it's a hard life being a zombie, but what are you to do? There's his vom attack, which we can easily just sidestep. Next. Come on. I mean, all right, I'll come to you. It's not a problem. In fact, that's fine. I think it's quicker that way. God, you can smell his breath. Jesus. Some fucking mouthwash around here. Oof. Right, so what have we got? This place looks very posh. Very, very posh. Certainly puts the old Spencer Mansion to shame, doesn't it? Now this guy is sleeping on the job. That's okay. Let's see what we can do. Thanks for the bullets, sucker. Now, Chief James, note to staff. Should I say chef? Aaron, can you please tell 
one of the kitchen staff that the clocks need to be reset on the first floor. I know the master likes to keep things precise. You may have, uh, you may have them double check the kitchen clock as well. That one tends to break down a lot. I need to make sure um, that the meals are on time. Yeah. Okay. We shall do what we can. Lock from the other side. I think we need the golden key for that. Golden key. We do. Let's see what else we can unlock. Symbol of the sun. We do need the symbol of the sun a lot, don't we? Evening! Come to mama. Ooh. Ooh. That was like he charged us around the corner. He's going to do it again, I think. Nope. Got lucky there. Ooh. That could have got a lot worse before it got better. Now, in here... Looks like a, this chain holds up the chandelier. Hmm. Well, I don't think there's a lot we can do about that right now. I certainly haven't found anything that we can do with that yet. I've tried stabbing it with a knife. I've tried shooting it. Uh, it appears to just be, well, something for later. It's locked. There is a symbol of the sun. So we can't do anything else up here. That's fine. Let us head back down below. I feel something dark and evil coming from this. Oh my. Well, we're not going to worry too much about anything dark and evil. Evening, zombie. Come to mama. That's it. That's right. No, don't be like that. Come on. Don't be silly. You remember how your legs work. Surely. Oh, you stupid. Dickhead. There we go. Ooh, he's armless now. Oh, unlucky, sir. That's very unfortunate, wasn't it? You can see the uh, damage that that puke attack does. It's basically nothing. We've got some ointment there. Uh, we like a bit of ointment around here. Now... We can also use this clock. It's not working. Looks like something is missing. Well, we can activate it. And, well, we're going to get another item. Another key. Because, sure, we like keys around here. How many bullets have we got now? Uh, a lot. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get a lot of bullets. And there's another key. Jesus. If you're someone that's easily overwhelmed by the amount of items in games, this is not the game for you. Now, this is a save room. Um, it might be worth saving it, I guess. We've got more bullets now. Um, hmm. We do now have to go back. Old key golden key. We can go use the golden key up, I suppose, but that's only going to yield us yet another item. But it is yet another item that we can more or less use straight away. So, that's the ointment. Uh, we can't go through there yet. Can we go through here? We can actually go through here. Oh, good lord. What's through here? Well, more items. But we could potentially use the old key here, actually. Right, there are doggies out here. Right. Okay, they're a little bit easier to actually deal with here. Seemingly so, anyway. Oh, they hurt. Yeah, dogs in this game are rather horrendous. Um, and we are getting low on health. Which is a little bit 
concerning. We don't have any healing items on us. If we can deal with the dog, we'll probably be okay. Come on, you bastard. There we go. Alright, that'll do. We'll use the gun as, you know, why not? Hopefully, we can find some health around here somewhere. Come on, sweetheart. Let's be having ya. As you can see, the head pop is not um, guaranteed. But we're certainly going to make use of it as and where we can. And we're going to pray for it. Oof, right. Alright. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. So, we've got some barrels that we can smash open. With some more bullets. So, we haven't really expunged that much ammo. Bastard. Now, um, where it mentions that Alicia's aim is less than perfect, if you actually focus your shot, it does appear to be almost perfect. So, I'm not really sure where that nonsense is coming from. Let's just clear this area out. Ugh, we don't want the key, goddammit. You know, is that the old key? That's the golden key. We're going to use that. Let's use up the golden key and come back. We do need to come back this way anyway. We've got a zombie down there. I think we're okay down there. Let's take this guy out. Hopefully nothing's going to creep up behind us. Say hopefully. Hopefully there isn't a third dog. We're at the amount of health now where one hit and we're dead. Right, small lock. We use the key. That is going to link us back up to the start. I can hear another one. Where is he? Alright, what have we got here? Handgun bullets. Right, let's back away. Oh, lovely. There's the hit of the whole fruit right there. Now, that is what we do actually need these garden shears. But before we pick those up, let's think about this a little bit. Because we're going to basically going to pick those garden shears up and then use them almost straight away. Let's head back in here. And we're going to grab the ointment. We kind of need to use some healing, really. Ointment can't be used on its own. But we're going to need to make our way backwards. I hate this uh, damage stakes. It slows us down. Not, I don't think it's like humongously bad. But it's, you know. You want to be moving at maximum speed at all times, if possible. So let's use our golden key here. Small golden key. That gives us the book. We can use that book in the library to get yet another key item. We can go use the head. Unfortunately, not to get head. I believe that allows us to get a crystal, which we can bring back here. Let's... Oh, we can't grab the ointment. Ugh. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's go out here, actually, because there is a bandage. You know, we've got to walk past a large med kit anyway, and I'm curious to see what happens when we use a large med kit. This is going to be famous last words now. I'm going to get myself horribly murdered. But it's fine. And we can actually examine this. The 
The pillar is collapsed. There's no way to pass through. Well, Mrs. Obvious... Ooh. Hang on. Crisis averted. Let's drop that and drop that. No. Come on. Pick up. Pick up the thing. Ugh. God damn it. I really don't like this way of juggling items. Right, okay. Right, let's grab you. And then what we can do is pick up some ointment. But before we pick up the ointment, there was a little bandage through here, if memory serves, that we can also grab. At least I think it was a little bandage. It was indeed. And then we can grab some ointment. Now, I don't know if this is a waste, like if we use the little bandage. Actually, for science, we can check that theory. Right, let's do a little bit of experimentation in the save room. We're going to save it. I don't really want to save it just yet, but we're going to save it. Of course. All right, let's drop you. Let's grab you. And then let's see if using that Ooh. okay it doesn't quite fill us up to maximum health good to know oh there's more saves oh there's like 20 okay good to know so we do need a little bit of ointment on there just to top us off to 100 percent. that's fine oh this is a beautiful piece of music okay i like this there we go. Maximum health. You know, we're going to hold on to that ointment because we can combine it with the ointment in the courtyard. Ah, much better. Full speed ahead. Actually, whilst we're doing all this, we can go downstairs here. And I suppose whilst we have an open slot. Let's go down below. It's, oh, right, we can't do that yet. Fair play. We will be going down there into the kitchen. Let us go back outside. We can't go through that room yet because she is locked. Locked. So let's go grab our ointment that was on the floor and we'll combine that up. So at least that's one item consolidated. Uh, we'll be back for those in a second. Where was the ointment? The ointment was over here. 30%. Oh, it automatically combines. That's good to know. Fine. We'll grab you. We'll grab you. And we've opened this gate now. Uh, no, it was that gate. We can't open that gate yet. We do need to go grab the shears. Of which we can't. Because, of course, we can't. We can't open that. Lock is jammed. We can't open that door. That's fine. Uh, we really need those bloody shears. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. What can we drop just for now? I don't want to drop the knife. I guess we probably don't need 60 handgun bullets. Um, hmm. Let's go grab the shears. And let's also gra drop the handgun bullets closer to where we're going to be. Right, there we go. Yep, item management. It's... A little, it's a little bit overbearing, if you ask me. It just seems to be an artificial way to waste your time. 
to, um, you know, it's okay having a limited inventory. Okay, that's in itself is okay. But when you throw so many items at the player. Right, let's go and use our shears here. We're back at the beginning of the game now. Evening, Squire. Oh, he's got a bit of a wiggle on. Let's just drop this guy. And then... We're going to go and use this item straight away. Just to get it used the hell up. So it's out of our inventory. That's one thing. That's one thing that is going to be completely um, off our chest. Okay. So... This is, I believe, the Angel Medallion, which is one of two medallions that we need to open the main gates to escape the mansion. So that is putting us halfway out of hell. Or is it? Not an ordinary door. So the first time I got this item, I tried to put it in there and it said it couldn't put it in there. And <laughs> that was like, oh, well, fuck. Where do I use that then? I didn't realize you'd have to be, um, you know, over the exact correct hole. I just, for some reason, assumed that both of those medallions were going to be the same. But anyway, it's fine. It's not, not a big issue. All right, calm your tits in the back. Let's grab our magazines. Reload. And head back on through. Now I believe, thinking about it, we can't... So that's done. I don't think we can go through here again, or can we? Yeah, we can't use this door anymore because the lock is jammed. For no other reason than to waste your time. And we do have a key for this room. It's locked. Guessing. Yeah, we've just got the golden key. Alright. Well, the golden key we can go and use, which I should have done when I took the bloody medallion back. No, wait, hang on. That gives us the red book, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we've already done that, haven't we? Okay, cool. So this little area is almost pointless. At the moment. Now let's check the map out. Let's... Yeah, we're going to have to walk the long way back, aren't we? Yep. Because we haven't opened... God damn it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Now, I do love the design of this game. Like, all of the areas look very good. It's just the animations are a little bit wonky. And you can see that the... Uh, what would you call it? The... Um, I guess... The UI and stuff like that is a little bit crunchy as well. It's not bad. It's You know, it works. Uh, I do think this game is possibly overpriced. I know price is a very subjective thing, but this game, at the, at least the time of recording this long, nearly hour and a half long video now, um, is... How long is it? I think it's £31 at the moment, which is an incredibly expensive game, if you ask me. You know. I don't know why we went in there. Routinely, you can find Resident Evil 4 uh, Remake and all of the Resident Evils for less money than that. Um, you could argue that they're much better produced games, but... Um, now, I have to remember. I don't think... So we've got a book, and we've got to put a book in there. But it's... No, it's not that one. Fine. We need to go all the way back. 
up the stairs and back out into that little uh, out area. Now we can hear a dog barking away. You have to get used to that. Don't think we can open this yet. No, we need the moon key for that. That will lead us back to the bedroom, I believe, where we first started. It's actually quite a useful little um, door to have open. Because that would have linked up this whole area. And it would have stopped all of that needless backtracking that we've just had to do. Anyway, let's go back into this uh, corridor. This and into this room, I believe. Right. So we've got some more ointment there. And here is the statue. So let's put the head in place. That's going to give us the light crystal. And we are going to use that book in the arm which is going to give us a paper. Ancient symbol drawings. Hmm. Well, we have no idea what that shit's about. So, we now have the crystal, which we can use in the main room. We have the golden key, which we can use in the library. Um, you know, I would say we can consolidate a lot of these items, but that's kind of going to happen later. You're going to see what I mean as and when we get there. Right. Let's go. We really do need that moon key because that's going to link up some areas and connect us up. And it's going to make getting around this mansion a lot more streamlined. I don't know why they like stop you from being able to use that door after you've been through it once. That seems like a big barrier that serves for one purpose and that is to kind of waste a bit more time. We can't use that yet. But we can use this. And that gives us the wolf head. We can't use the wolf head yet. Well, actually, we can use the wolf head. Which we were going to do now. But we've got to go all the way back to the main hallway to do so. You can see the amount of backtracking. I'm hoping the backtracking is going to be cut down a little bit. Uh, as the game goes on. But we'll find out. Hopefully by the time I get around to the next set, once I finish recording this, I maybe would have finished the game. Uh, we want to go be this way. They've definitely put a lot of love and attention into this main uh, mansion. They've, I think they've done a very respectable job. I'm just hoping the story's going to come together. That's my concern. Right. Now. We can put that there. Why can we not use that now? Okay. Maybe we can't use that there. A lion head. Can't get it out by one's hands. Can we really not put that... Huh. Okay. Well, I guess we can't. That's fine. So. Let's put the crystal where it needs to be. Like so. The crystal is in place. And now we have an ominously evil light shining at the door. So, let me examine the map. Where can we go that we haven't been yet? 